Putting hogs on the mob, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, seven, seven, buddy. Good fam squad. Now let's just let's just go. Let's just get, get straight to it. We finna talk about Lamar Jackson. Now, obviously, let's just get you know, like I said. Let's get straight to it. So Lamar Jackson changed his Instagram picture. To some teeth that says I need, and then it shows the dollar sign with which meaning I need some cash. So, everybody, you know, some people it going just it's just a subliminal message, and I'm one of them. I believe it is a subliminal message that, in my opinion, to me, is saying he's negotiating with EDC, he's negotiating with the Ravens. He's talking to them. They talking about the money. It's, it's about the money. It could be close. Could not be. Could wait till, you know, after the season. Whoop the whoop. We don't know. But let's talk about his progression since he, is, he has been a Raven. We know 2018, he played, what did it say, seven games. We know Flacco started that year. We was not going to make the playoffs. Lamar starts, gets the spark. We all know what happens. Okay, second year, his first full year as a starter, 2019. We all know what happened in 2019. Unanimous MVP. He did that thing. A lot of people saying, oh, they still hanging on 2019. 2019 really wasn't that far. But his progression continued to get better and better and better. In 2019, he had 23 sacks. He got sacked 23 times through the whole year. That's not that bad. Not that bad. Because the previous year, 2018, is showing that he got sacked 16 times. But we all know he was pretty much running. They didn't trust him to throw the ball. So they just kept giving him run play after run play after run play. But 2019, 20, sack 23 times. Passing yards. If I'm correct, 3,127. 3,127. That's not that's not bad for running back, as they say. 2020. Whew, 2,757 yards showing that he passed. That was the kind of end here. He threw a lot more interceptions. But that lot more was only nine. The previous year, he only threw six. So, I really wouldn't say a lot more. I'll take that back. Three more than what he did last year. The previous year in 2019 MVP season. And also, he got sacked 29 times. Now, we're going to last year, 2021... We all know what happened on that season. The injury bug was hitting hard. Ridiculous hard. <laughs> <laughs> we had plumbers. We had Uber drivers. We had DoorDash. We had janitors. We had them all just out there just playing. But he got sacked 38 times. We know how bad the offensive line was. But he didn't you know he didn't play the full year either. He played 12 games. You know he got injured. But 2,882 yards with that terrible offensive line. The previous year, 2020, he passed for 
2,757. So he actually had more yards than with his previous year and less games. So that lets you know he's getting better with passing as well. We know my boy Bateman was out for a couple of games. We know give up on play. Watkins was out there. A lot of drops from Hollywood. But Hollywood did his thing. But he's getting better and better. Now if you look at the seasons that's about to happen, we got Bateman as the number one. That dog from the D-Town. That's Dallas, Texas for y'all that don't know. Pro. I'm just going to say pro. Because I know he's going to be beasting. Y'all remember that game he had last year. Just that one game. But anyway, anyway. Another video. Another video. But Proche is the number two. We got Wallace. We got Dev. Got it. I believe it still be the second year with Keith and T as the coaching. You know that's getting better. Lamar done buffed up. We see, we see that. The man is Thanos right now with them arms. But getting better and better. We're going to have J.K. and Gus back. Way better offensive line. We Oh, way better. The number one center that was in the draft. Justice. Justice is coming back. Because I thought he was going to actually get a chance to step up until he got injured. But he's coming back. That's going to be a question with Batty. Batty. I don't know how they say it. But... He's going to be off the chart with that. Then we also come to mind where I saw this. It said, huh, let me move it to my other screen. It said, best and worst QB decision makers from 2019 to 2021. Number one, Tom Brady. Not shocked. Now, they got the picture of Tom Brady for as the Patriots. But he played for two teams within those years. So I believe that's why they didn't have that like that. But Aaron Rodgers is number two. And number three is Lamar Action Jackson. Best and worst QB decision maker. He's number third for us the best. That right there. It's not that bad. Not that bad. So also, but with that stat, it's kind of, kind of iffy, I would say. But not for as the ranking, it's just the, the pictures of the graph. But yeah, you know. And then we also, before I end this, we got to remember the game. Lamar, 37 complete, 43 attempts, 442 yards, 4 TDs, 62 rushing. Not that many rushing yards. That was all last year. Jacked up line. Now, I know he just did that with that one game. But if you sit there and think about how bad we were down in that game. But now he has a fantastic offensive line. Got his has his running backs back. Got some dogs at wide receiver. Got better tight ends. Andrews is not by himself anymore. He got Isaiah Likely. Any other dude. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but Isaiah Likely, like I told y'all previously on my Isaiah Likely video. Every time a Ravens pick a second wide receiver in the same draft, that second one always balls out. It's just facts. Just facts. Mark Andrews, hello. Dennis Piddle. Isaiah Likely. Anyway, but 
Lamar's gonna get that cash so the Instagram picture yeah I think he hint to us it's gonna it might happen really soon and I wouldn't be shocked wouldn't be shocked so for the pocket watchers just keep watching because it's getting close